Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good Monday morning. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. We have a Storm Track 7 yellow alert day today. A couple of different reasons. If you're along and south of Highway 20, it's probably going to be pretty hot today and very humid. That could lead to a heat index up to 100 this afternoon and this evening. And then for this afternoon into tonight, a chance for some strong to severe storms. But that's going to be along Highway 20 and to the north, kind of flip-flopping uh, with these threats here for today. The reason why is this boundary that's going to meander from about Highway 20 to near Highway 18. So as we go throughout the day today, high temperatures will be close to 90 there along and south of the front. And that's going to make it feel close to 100. Still very humid on the other side of the front, but temperatures will not be as hot. So that's going to be a little bit more mild there as you go uh, towards Winnesheek and Alamakee County. And then the severe threat for today, it is a level 2 out of 5 around that front and to the north. And then the severe threat will really drop off further off to the south. Uh, and it's a very conditional threat because we have a lot of warm air and dry air in the mid levels of the atmosphere and that's going to really prevent a lot of storms from developing, I would say, across a lot of our viewing area today. But should storms develop, there will be that chance for some large hail, possibly some damaging wind gusts and uh, can't rule out an isolated tornado. If storms interact with that boundary, you get some spin going on in the clouds and uh, so we'll have to watch for that closely. But uh, overall, uh, again, the chance for rain and storms today is going to be very low, but should they develop, uh, we'll have to watch them pretty closely. So as we go through feature track, it's going to be a lot of cloud cover for today. And uh, then you see some showers moving across those northern counties this afternoon. Nothing to really note there, but maybe the better window for stronger storms will be into the evening. We'll say between 7 and 10 p.m. There you see maybe some of those stronger storms scooting right across the border of Iowa and Minnesota and then after midnight a lot of that will be tracking out. So again if future track ends up being correct just about everybody will stay dry for today uh, and then after that we're just going to have plenty of clouds into tomorrow and that's going to keep our temperatures pretty low. That front is also going to come through so humidity drops significantly looking at dew points the rest of the week about the upper 50s and low 60s. That's going to feel great and uh, really not expecting a lot as far as the heat index is concerned. That's going to be more so the air temperature, which will be in the 70s going forward. Uh, so you look at high temperatures today, uh, low 80s there in, the, in Decorah, but a low 90s for Highway 20 and South. Again, humid for everybody, so uh, that's going to make it feel pretty hot outside. A chance for storms, though, only 30%, which will keep that into tonight. And some could be strong, especially in our northern counties. But once the rain clears out and the front starts to move south, you can see the split in conditions. Uh, low temperatures about the low 60s there in the far north, low 70s in the south for tonight. And then tomorrow, low to mid 70s for everybody with more clouds and sunshine and a northeast wind about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Uh, we're going to keep the 70s for Wednesday, but more so the mid to upper 70s because of slightly more sunshine. Uh, you'll have more clouds showing up on Thursday and then partly cloudy Friday, Saturday and Sunday but dry throughout that stretch. Finally, back to near 80 on Sunday and low 80s for next week, which is pretty seasonal. And that's going to introduce some rain chances back on Monday.